All right, guys, welcome back to Candroid Crypto. Um, we're going to resolve a bit of an issue here we have with one of my RX 580s. Uh, this is a card I picked up used the other day, local to me. Um, obviously, it's very hard to test these cards before you buy them. Um, but yeah, it's getting 22.67 uh, mega hash right now. And this is the one running on Ethereum Classic. Um, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go in and we're going to back up the BIOS on this card. And we're just going to fire up our Hive shell here. And so for some of you people that maybe haven't used Hive OS, this is a Linux based system. Um, so we're just going to do a minor status here. And it's going to tell you Phoenix Miner is running. So we are going to do a minor stop I'm gonna stop the miner for a second um, and miner status you're gonna see now it's gonna say no miners are running okay so um, we need to go back here we need to go into I believe it's overclocking if I'm not mistaken and what we're gonna do we're actually gonna download um, we're going to download the vBIOS, so let's download this, let's select the card we have here, we're going to save this farms bot, or we're going to save this to the farms vBIOS storage, and we're going to click download. Okay, so it's going to do its little thing here, we're going to let it, it's going to, it takes, it takes a couple, I don't know how long, it takes a little bit of time, it doesn't take like, super long time but we're just gonna wait for that to download the BIOS and then we are going to save it alright so there we go so um, it has downloaded it now let's click on that alright so there we go it has downloaded it to my PC let's see what it named it here so it gave it a long, long name. Um, that's fine. But I want to actually just call it like uh, stock 22 mega hash or something is what I want to call it. Okay. So there we go. So this is in case you ever, ever, ever have to go back or if you screw up. Um, Always make a backup of your BIOS first. Uh, we are back, guys. So my first attempt to flash this card the other day, actually, it flashed no problem, but it actually failed. When it booted up, it was saying there's no CUDA cores, and it would not mine. So um, what I, and now keep in mind, what I was trying to do was just copy the BIOS from a card that I have that's running 30 mega hash with Hynix RAM, and just put it onto this card. So even though it flashed, it didn't work. So what we've done, uh, we've taken our, let me get back to, let's go to our cards here for a second. So so what I've done, I've taken the stock BIOS off this card that's running 22.5 uh, mega hash basically. And we have gone ahead and downloaded um, Polaris BIOS Editor version 1.7.5. I've gone ahead and unzipped that and I've got the program running and I've opened my stock BIOS I've hit the one click timing patch and we've saved the BIOS to the hard drive and then we have now uploaded that to my vBIOS ROM storage in the Hive OS so this BIOS came off the same card so the serial number the part number all the stuff is going to be the same the only thing that's going to change will be the I guess the, the memory timings for the card so we're going to go ahead and try this again. Um, I'm in the hive right now. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to get the, we're going to go to this worker. We are going to stop the miner on this worker. And we should see it actually stop here in the hive shell. Okay, there comes the command. Okay, there we go. So if I say miner status. Okay, no miners are running. Okay, so good. So now let's go ahead. 
Um, you can actually do it from here as well, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it kind of gives you some different options though, so I'm not going to do it from here. I'm going to do it back from the main. Uh, we're going to find our rig. Uh, rig 04. So this is the card here. We're going to flash this Hynix card. Uh, select VBIOS. We are going to give it the 30 meg. Oh, hold on a second. Cancel. You got to do this in a certain order, guys. So select VBIOS. We're going to say reboot after flash. Force flash, ignoring security check. And we're going to select our 30 mega hash BIOS. Select one prepared to flash VBIOS flash cards. Okay, so let's see. Um, I don't know if you're going to see anything in, in the Hive shell. Um, but it does say here, flashing is in process. So you do not want to interrupt your system. You do not want a power failure right now. Okay, um, so let's see. VBIOS Radeon, okay, so it looks like it may have taken the BIOS flash. Let's just see if it is still up. Nope, the, the miner has rebooted. The uh, this screen is dead. So we might as well just close that window. All right. So let's go back here now. Let's... Uh, Let's see what's going on here with this unit. Okay, so ROM okay, now reboot. Um, is it rebooting or do I have to do it? Okay, so here we go. So you can see guys, the first time I flashed it, the part numbers were different. Um, this time the part number is the same. Um, the funny thing is, it's, it's the same BIOS. It's just different timings in the BIOS from what I understand. So restart system to complete BIOS. So let's let's open our Hive shell again. Um, it could be that the Hive shell actually closed because I had it running for a little bit, or it could be the miner is actually rebooting itself right now, and that's possible as well. Come on, baby. Actually, it is rebooting. You can see right here. That little symbol means the network is offline. It is rebooting. So uh, we will give it a second to come back. All right, guys. So the rig has rebooted. Um, so you can see now this card is getting 28.5 mega hash. Um, the first time it rebooted, I had all my overclocks and stuff in here. And it kind of crashed the rig, so um, I've turned it down again. So these were the overclocks that I had. I had uh, Core uh, 1200, uh, DPM3, VDD875, and then memory was 2375 with a power limit of 99. When this rig came back up and grabbed those settings, I saw it immediately. It went to 32 point something mega hash. Um, but for whatever reason, the rig crashed. Now, I don't know if it's the card or just the rig itself had a bit of a complaint. So, um, what I've done, I've taken out the, here, let me go back to rig four. What I've actually done here, I've taken out the, the core overclocking and I've taken out the memory overclocking and all I've done is lower the power level and the, uh, the voltage. Um, so yeah, the card's around 90 watts right now and it's pumping at 28.5 mega hash guys so um, if you think about the percentage from 22.5 to 28.5 it is a big percentage it doesn't sound like much but it is a lot just for one card so if you had a whole rack of these cards and you were only getting 22 and a half on each card and you bump it up to 28 and a half on each card just by doing the bios mod it is a huge, huge, huge percentage increase in uh, hash power. So 
um, so yeah guys so there you go so it is possible um, it's doable and you can see it's it's at 28 and a half now all right guys thanks for tuning in and uh, leave a comment hit the like button and uh, happy night Thanks.